I think it's starting. It always starts before it says live, so I end up talking to myself before it goes. Anyway, hello everybody. How are you doing today? And welcome. It is time for another eBay Bolo video. And these are, okay, let me start back again. Bolo, let's start there. Bolo stands for be on the lookout for. So if you are a reseller or you're looking for things to pick up and flip, these are things that when you're out in the wild, looking at garage sales, estate sales, thrift stores, wherever you go, flea markets, that these are some things that you can kind of store back in the back of your mind so that when you're out and you see these things, something might spark a little memory bulb back there and that says, hey, I saw that on eBay Bolos. Let's pick it up and give it a try. Now, I cannot take credit for these bolos. These are from the amazing members of the group International League of Thrifters and my other group, Jewelry Lovers and Sellers, both of which are on Facebook. So I will be shouting out everybody who contributed to this video. Some people have social media, um, platform, you know, whether they're on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook, YouTube, wherever. Um, so I will shout you out. So if you are interested in joining in next week's or when I get to the next one, I try to do it every week. Um, in the groups, I'll show you where it is. In the oh, I have to switch it there. Um, <laughs> in the groups, these this is what it looks like in International League of Thrifters. There'll be a chick with big old binoculars like that and that says bolo um, and so you'll just drop your your info and your links down there and if you have social media or something like that um, put it with it so I can share it and in jewelry lovers I had this oopsies where did the image go hang on there it is like so but I think I'm gonna use the same image so it doesn't get confusing since we're now combining uh, for dude Alexa okay she just said I asked for 70s country music let me turn this off one second. I'm muting. I don't know what I said that set Alexa off. So if you have Alexa at home and she started playing 70s country music, my apologies. All right, so now here we go. Um, if you are new here and you're wondering who this rambling woman is on your computer, um, my name is Margaret, hello, and I have this channel, Texas Gal Treasures, a couple of Facebook groups that I've just mentioned, um, and I talk a lot about different things that you can do to make money um, whether it's reselling or creating shirts for merch by Amazon. And I would love to have you subscribe to the channel. But let's get started. Um, go down there and hit that thumbs up if you're waiting for me to like get through with my big spiel. Um, yeah, and then I'll get started. So I've got lots of friends in the chat. Hello, everybody. Let me shout out some friends that are here. Hello, Angela and Claire. Thank you so much for hanging out. Hi, Maggie. Hi, Sunny and Shannon. Hello, love them anyway, I'm Francis, Darren, Patricia, Diane, and you guys, if you're watching later and you're wanting to come be live or know when I go live, there's a little bell next to the subscribe button you can hit um, that will let you know when I go live. And I usually post in the groups too. And I, I'm off topic right now, but Twitter is my new best friend because Gerard Butler hearted one of my comments randomly, so there's that too. Um, Google him <laughs> if you don't know who he is. Anyway, um, so hello, hello. Thanks, everybody, for coming. Hello from East Texas. My people are from East Texas, too, up in the Hawkins area, which is next to nowhere. So there's that. Okay, okay. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Let's get started because we've got lots to share. So let me switch over. Of course, I'm clicking the wrong thing. Um let's get started okay so I know we've talked about Taylor and Ng before but it's always a good one to bring up again let me get my I have so many doodads doodads is the new term for tabs apparently um, going down here that I need to switch a roo, switch them around okay Taylor and Ng mugs you can see along the edge I'm pointing like you could see where I'm pointing um, where it's written in cursive right by that that piggy's tail um, that's the signature for Taylor and Ng right there. And these mugs sold for 35 bucks. Let's see. Jenny shared these. Jenny Lorette um, shared them. She says, I just mailed these today. And Margaret is one is the one that turned me on to the brand. Okay, yay. Um, Taylor and Ng mugs. I paid 50 cents each for them. Sold the pair for $35.99 plus shipping. These mugs come in all different animals and seem to go for good money. This is so true. And Jenny, I forgot to pull up your group because I know you've got a group. So let me pull that up to share. 
because that's one of the awesome perks of sharing in the Bolo video is so Jenny's got a group that's called Yes Virginia every day is Christmas on Facebook and I, I'm gonna be giving you another shout out like when I do my actual sales update because I sold Christmas stuff this week and so yes it is what March and I sold a Christmas mug so here is Ginny. I'm pulling it over so you guys can see. So go over and join her Facebook group, um, Yes, Virginia, Every Day is Christmas on eBay, because she shares lots of cool stuff. Like when I, I mean, for me personally, when I go to an estate sale and I see all the Christmas stuff, my eyes just kind of like, you know, and I can't, I don't know what to pick up, right? Like this, this is exactly what I do too when I'm in there like that. Um, I don't know what to pick up. So, but now, like when I see like some of the things she posts in her group, I'm like, oh, okay, I can pick out little things here and there. Okay, so Taylor and Ng. Let's take a look at Taylor and Ng and see is it all Taylor and Ng or is it just some? So, I have done a, an eBay search for Taylor and Ng mugs. I've done Buy It Now and these are sold. So, I'm taking a look. I, I generally think that I thought rather that the blue ones did better. There are these like, I guess a red brown color. Um, but here's one with the pigs that sold for $22, bucks, $22.99. Um, and then I know this is the one we've talked about before, the orgy one. They have a whole series of like, I don't know if orgy is going to make YouTube demonetize my video. But they're like bunny rabbits and rhinoceroses. Like there's different ones you can get that have animals in very compromising positions that, that are also from Taylor and Ng. Keep your eyes out because this is one of them, that pink one right there. Um, Le Chat, okay. Oh, look, there we are. And then I have sold a Taylor and Ng mug. I sold Le Baleen, which is the whale. So I sold the whale for $34.99. So keep your eye out for Taylor and Ng mugs. This is, this is the, uh, the name on it. Okay. Um, okay, let me check the chat before I move on real quick. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Bum Crack Picker. <laughs> your name. Hi, Swamp Picker. Hi, Glenn. How's it going? Um, hey Jeff, how's it going? All right, Glenn, let me know if you're going to be in Austin this summer too, because I'm going to be there. Okay, next up, we have got, now I see these, not all the time, but I see them. So these were shared by uh, Regan, or Reagan, I'm not sure if I'm saying your name right, um, Regan Lembeck, Lem let me know if I have time butchered your name. Apologies. So I found these at a thrift store for a dollar and knew nothing about them. Did some research and found out they are called Pinky and Blue Boy and they're pretty popular. Sold them for $25.95 plus shipping. Um, and then, oh, I have an Instagram, which is Daisy Jane Antiques. I look for links because then when I'm going, I just like pop, 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 pop all the links up. So I'll, I'll pull up your Instagram to show everybody too. Instagram. So I, I looked these up because I do, I see, and I wasn't sure, was it the bubble glass frames that were the good money or was it the images of the pinky and the blue boy? Hang on. Let me get this up. Oh, I'm already following you. Hey, okay. Um, let me share her Instagram and then we'll take a look because I did. What I like to do is when you guys share the bolos, I'll go pull up the sold and see like what exactly is it just anything that's like that or specific things all right so go over and follow daisy jane antiques on instagram and let's take a look at pinky and blue boy so these are the ones she sold and her listing was oval ornate gold frame convex which is that like bubble that bubble glass you guys maybe have seen them um so i did a search for just at first pinky and blue boy just to see like what's out there and I search for buy it now and sold so I'm seeing figurines that are left in okay $24.95 that's not bad paint by numbers oh my gosh the paint by numbers of pinky and blue boy <laughs> are really good so these ones it would someone took a buy it now but there's another one just wait so $1.99 was that one and I would have walked right by that because you know my thought is I see pinky and blue boy all the time there are a dime a dozen no way am I picking that up well apparently the paint by numbers are something to pick up um so here's some more left in figures here's hers 25.95 and then here's just another I mean these ones went for 10 bucks which you know some plates see it like here's some little ones for 450. okay but I saw oh look here's another one paint by numbers 31.99 
So it kind of varies. I guess just if you see them, look it up and see what you see. Like here's just pinky and blue boy portraits. Because that's what I would have thought. Like, okay, I'm, I see these all the time. I'm picking them up. That they sold for $48.99. And then they sold for $15. Okay, I don't get it. I don't get it. So then I thought, okay, you had a pinky and blue boy, but didn't, but did, but it did not sell or did not, you didn't sell it. One or the other. Huh. Okay. So then I thought, well, let's take a look at bubble glass, like bubble glass picture frames. Cause I see those as well. So here are some solds for buy it and buy it now. Um, here's a Jesus one, 65 bucks. There's just the frame, which was 50. Um, Random baby picture that took a best offer. I didn't look up the best offer. So again, some are low, like six bucks. But then here's one. I can't even make out what's in there. It was just stuff. 195. And then there's like a little one, 40 bucks. Okay, so I mean they may be worth taking a look at. Look at this guy. Wow. Okay, okay. Look at that one. 75 bucks. Alright, it might be something that's worth taking a second look at. Anyway, maybe the lower solds have, have flaws. Oh, that could be Patricia. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so just something to, to, if you see them, maybe I won't discount them immediately, especially the paint by number one. Oh, okay. I'm just thinking back to that estate sale that I went to and the paint by number Jesus that was over the fireplace that I didn't get. But I can't get it right now. I can't. can't do it. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see in the chat before I move on. Hey, oh, you're going, oh, you're going to, I thought you just went to the movies, Jeff. It's going to the movies. Okay. Um, okay. So next up, this one <laughs> was shared by Wendy Bell. Uh, Wendy paid seven, wait, was it seven bucks for this one or the other one? Uh, I don't know which one because she just put seven bucks and she shared. No, never mind. This is the only one she shared. Okay. So she paid seven bucks for this at a yard sale. Disney the Muppets F. A. O. Schwartz whatnot workshop puppet Muppet. Okay, so this sold for sixty two ninety nine. She paid seven bucks for this. Very cool. So here's what I did because it seems really specific. So I looked up Disney the Muppets and then F. A. O. Like for F. A. O. Schwartz, and I found qu uh, quite a few other ones as well. So there's this one because hers was what orange. Okay. And had all the doodads that you could change out, right? Hi, Kay, Joni, how's it going? Um, but then there's some other ones too. Here's one, 65 bucks. Here's one that's like a blue, blue Muppet with white hair. So for $94.95. And I don't know, maybe they come in a bag like this. This one's in a box. This one's in like this bag. Here's a purple one. They took a, <laughs> oh, it's not even got all the pieces. It comes with two wigs. 50, 59, 69. Look at this one. What a great picture. Hey. <laughs> that one's funny. The orange body, 30 bucks, 32. So yeah, definitely keep your eye out for these Muppets. FAO Schwartz Whatnot Workshop, 70 bucks. Wow. Look at this uh, Kermie, just a Kermie puppet. What? Okay. I've got like two Kermit the Frogs. They're not puppets though. All right, so yeah, definitely very cool. Hey, animal. And now I'm just looking because I love the Muppets. All right. Uh, anyway, but they're really good price. Okay, so keep an eye out. Look, I, we've seen some in a box, and we see some in this, like, plastic bag. But look, the plastic bag one, $99. Very cool. Okay, so next up, this one blew me away. I had no idea. I would have walked right past this Baby Morgan blanket, because the baggie looks like just like something you would get at Walmart or something like that. it Or like the Dollar General or something, you know. Um, it doesn't look like any kind of like fancy baby blanket. It's just in this plastic bag, right? This baby blanket sold for $162.50. Let's find out more <laughs> for sure. Um, Julie shared this. Julie Book shared this in the group uh, she's, and then there was a conversation back and forth between her and Sharon that said you know why this commands such a high price and she has no idea seems crazy she didn't mention what she paid for it but shoot even if you paid 10 bucks so I thought okay let's see is it just because it's new in the package what's you know is it made of like spun gold or something 
Baby Morgan fleece acrylic crib blanket nylon binding yellow. Doesn't seem to be anything fancy schmancy. Okay. <laughs> Thumb to the button, Claire says. <laughs> yeah, thumb the button. Okay, so let's take a look. I looked for Baby Morgan Blanket. These are solds. And here we go. So here's a pre-owned one. Waffle Weave. That's that like, it's a waffle weave, right? Uh, $69.99. This one says as is. So maybe it was like messed up or something. But this is the tag you can see there, Baby Morgan. Here's another one, Waffle Weave. Pre-owned. Nylon Trim, $44.65. Somebody took a best offer off of this one, 150. Maybe it was a bigger size or something. Oh my gosh, just these prices. I I need to look at these baby blankets apparently. Vintage Baby Morgan Green, thermal acrylic, 31 bucks. Holy moly. There's a 44, 73, 35. Okay, so and I look in the linen section, but I never, I don't know, and I know loveys do well, like the little like stuffed animal head with the blankie on it. But apparently, look, this one is the full asking price, $159.99. I'm blown away by this baby blanket. So, Bolo, Baby Morgan. I'm speechless. <laughs> I really am. If you guys know why, I would love to know. But definitely, some right here it says Carter's. Baby Morgan. So was it put out by Carter's? But even still, like that was a fairly common brand, right? Okay, so moving on. I don't think Julie shared any social media stuff. Nope. Okay, so and if you are interested, you don't have to, you know, if you want to share a bolo in the group, um, you don't have to have a social media anything. Just share whatever for funsies. Um, but if you do want to, then share it. Alexa's going off again. Darn it. I don't want to yell in your ear. Okay. All right. Let's keep going with our bolos. Let me check how many people we've got watching because I have like a billion different tabs open down here. So, friends, we have 75 watchers and 16 thumbs up. That's it. I'm going to sit here until we hit the thumbs up video. And that, that doesn't even make sense because you can't hit a thumbs up video. But... That seems a bit ridiculous, y'all. <laughs> okay, but it really does help. Like it, hel like it helps in the YouTube like little algorithm thingy, the the thumbs up and the thumbs down and uh, whatever. So that's why people ask. Anyway, okay, moving on. Next up, we've got this chicken clock. Uh, answer me in the chat. Would you have picked up the chicken clock? Would you? I maybe would have walked right by it without thinking anything of it. So Bess. Abrams bought this clock in an estate sale today for two bucks, and she says they sell as high as $100. So, bye, Glenn. <laughs> Pandering for the thumbs up sends people a running. That, I'm just joking. That might not be why he's leaving. But, um, yeah, so I might not have, I don't think I would have looked twice at this chicken clock, honestly. Really? Um, but, apparently, this chicken clock does really well. So Rhythm Chicken Clock, these are solds. Yes to the chick. I mean, it's cute and everything, but I'm just like, it wouldn't have been on my radar to pick them up, right? Okay, so this vintage rock and roll rhythm singing chicken alarm clock, Hey Baby Wake Up is what it sings. This one was on auction, sold for $54, best offer $199, one bid for $99.99. Yeah, right? I'm just like, it's a chicken clock, right? This one doesn't even have his little feathers on the top. But look, four parts, not working, $71.99. You're kidding me. All right. Some of these are best offer accepted. Here's one that's similar-ish. He's like like that. You can't see. He's like laying down like so. Here's one, 50, $108.50. Isn't that crazy? So now I'm like, okay, I'm going to start looking. Like I picked up a dog phone. It looked like a little Dalmatian. And like it, when it rings, it, woof, 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 it barked, you know? And that's sold, so that was cool. But yeah, look at these. 176, new in box. Okay, cool. But still, 102, 159, cray cray. That is a cray cray. All right, so, oh, I didn't even scroll down further. There's a cat one, too. I didn't look at the. So yeah, apparently now, if you see an animal shaped clock or phone, because I had a phone, um, double 
check. Look at this cat one, 122. Oh. Okay, so what I did was I, look, this is just a random cow. Rhythm Japan. Okay, maybe that's what we need to search for. Rhythm made in Japan clocks. Okay, so I did a search for just like animal, vintage animal alarm clocks, just to see like what else is out there, right? He looks like he's from the 90s, doesn't he? I mean, if I had to guess, I'm guessing he's from the 90s. I could be wrong. He could be from the 80s with that blue, that teal blue. Maybe the late 80s, early 90s, you think? I don't know. Okay, so I did a search for vintage animal alarm clock just to see what else is out there. Um, here's a parrot one. And then there's another parrot. There's the Kool-Aid man. Uh, I don't know. Another parrot. Anyway, just there was a lot of different stuff out there. So I won't bleh. So take a second look if you see, like, figural, animal. I guess it's just, like, with jewelry. I like picking up figural jewelry. It's probably the same thing with alarm clocks and phones and things like that. And yeah, I know. Kaylee's like, I would never pick up any animal things. Now I know they'll start. Yeah, so, so if you see one out, Google it or, you know, search it and see. And then share with us in Bolo so we can all see. Looks like something you could buy on mod cloth, Ariana says. Oh, okay. Yeah, isn't that bananas? Okay, next up is, now I would have picked this up totally. This is a vintage gunned plush kitty cat tan, green jewel eyes, nose to tail. Okay, so there's that. Let's see. Let me go make sure I'm sharing. Who's, who's sharing? Um, <laughs> and if you're not reading in the group, like people comment on each, each other's stuff and about the, the bird alarm clock Dana said oh Lord I have real chickens that wake me up I probably shoot that one <laughs> okay so Garana Enix apologies if I say your name incorrectly um, she says old ugly plush I can second that for sure she said I would have thrown this guy in the trash a couple years ago I paid a buck for him and sold him in a couple of weeks best offer for $39 so I did a search for so yeah she said she, this wasn't the price she told she took 39 bucks best offer so i did a search for just vintage gun and there's a lot of different ones but if you can see i'm not sure if this is a hard stepped one but it even looks kind of like blah, you know it looks i don't know what the word is like janky but there's a better word i'm sure uber distressed well loved um but i was doing a search for vintage gun just to kind of find some more like that but it was just random ones. But if you find like hard stuff, they look like the mohair type, maybe plush. Look at this one. I think my son has this. I think he has this one. <laughs> That's tabby cat right there. Oh, oh, we definitely have this rhinoceros. Oh, I know we have that rhinoceros. Okay, look at this one. There's a Tigger gun. That's 11 bucks. But yeah, I mean, I probably could have done a better job searching for some of these. Look at this one. Wonderful World Gun, 50 bucks right there. So just take a look. I mean, some of the just like random teddy bears are meh, so-so, but oh gosh. Yeah, my fault. I could have done a better job. But if you, you know, if you see plush that looks like this, I can pull up some that I sold. Let me look, pull up my Etsy because I pick up vintage well I got some at an auction do you guys remember that from a few years back and that one cat oh my gosh sold hang on I'm pulling up my Etsy so you can see do, do, do. it's loading did I click the wrong thing should I send to you <laughs> it looks dead <laughs> maybe that's the word um plush let's just search for plush how about that <laughs> okay so sold out I'm pulling up a couple of mine so you can I mean, I think you get the idea, but I can tell you, like, what some of mine sold for. I know I have more than this. Did I not list them? It's just impossible. Anyway. Uh, so here's one that, that is mine that sold for, this was on Etsy. It sold for 150 bucks, and it's this, like, vintage wire terrier. And then my, have y'all seen the Fiend Fiend cat, the Siamese cat one? I'm sure you have. I've talked about it enough. <laughs> So this is another one that I got at that auction. And even at the auction, I was like, he smells kind of weird even. But I held out. I I had him listed for 500 bucks, but I took a best offer on eBay for like 
I think it was about 250 it was about half but it was still like 200 bucks 250 bucks and i think i spent 15 dollars at the auction for him i wasn't leaving that thing there it was old and funky and weird he was coming with me so definitely keep your eye out for old vintage plush that and they were really hard stuff so anyway okay kaylee in the chat says i sold a 45 dollar old Pooh beer. I, yesterday I got a, a yard sale for 50 bucks. That is a good deal. That's awesome. Destry says, uh, in the 80s, I love different kinds of alarm clocks and telephones. Very teenagers. Yeah, totally, totally. Um, Elizabeth England says, my best sale today is 69 cent dimensions cross stitch for 13.77. Oh, nice. There's time for more. Okay, what? where am I? How far am I? Okay, next up is from our good friend Becky. Friend, my friend and yours, Becky Palmer. I didn't pull up other perfumes because there's like a bazillion different ones, but she says partially used perfume bottles. I always look them up. You never know. Lots of times I find grab bags full of things like lotions, body sprays, perfumes for a few dollars. Recently, I found a bag with two really expensive perfumes in it for four dollars. So this is one of them. So the perfumes were four bucks. Um, so this one, where's my thing? The Seven Virtues. I mean, even if I tell you the name of them, there's so many perfumes out there. You have to look them up for sure. Um, because, yeah, there's a lot. And, they, and they're, even if they're used, they can be worth money. And I had a, quite a few, but it was one of the things I decided to put in the garage sale in our last garage sale. So all of my like partially used perfumes, I thought I would spread the wealth and let somebody else have them um so and then this other one was 99 dollars here and this is an avita one which is a good brand um but like i say there's so many out there so i just did use perfume and sold thirteen thousand, y'all just in best offer not best offer but buy it now so you can see there's just crazy prices you know what is this one tova i don't know what that is Matcha Belly, I don't know what that is. You Saint Laurent, okay. You know, but some of them like, okay, Fabergé. I think I had some Fabergé. Okay, um, or maybe they were Lalique. They had the little figures on top. I think they were Lalique. And Klein, I mean, so some of them are like so-so, but some are really good, you know? And brands that you maybe have never heard of. Yeah, so just when you see perfumes, look, 65 bucks for hat, like less than half a bottle of Fendi. Oh, thanks, you guys. Yeah, discontinued things, for sure, for sure. Maggie says, I sold a few perfumes for over 100 last year from an estate sale. Had to look them up. There were a lot of duds. Yeah, for sure. And my thing, too, is like, okay, I, I know I've told, I may have told you guys this story before. I went to that garage sale, and this lady was buying up perfumes. She paid. She was leaving. This is one of my uh, people, garage sale people. And then the, late, the woman hosting the garage sale said, oh, I've got some more perfumes in the house. Let me go in because I was kind of looking through what the other lady had left. Well, as the woman went inside and got the box with some more perfumes to bring out, lady that had already paid walking down the garage, walking down the driveway, hustled back up, like shoved herself in front of me and like was like prison styling the the perfumes that the woman <laughs> brought out. I was like, I don't need this perfume that bad, but for sure. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's good. There's good money in it, and I've definitely sold used perfume too. You have to watch if they've been exposed to light taints of the oh for sure the scent. And the, and yeah, and then another tip Becky said: P.S. Perfume since it can be flammable it has to be shipped via ground, so like you would select partial select, um, not air. So usually send it partial select to be safe. Yeah, so not first class or priority. You want to make sure it's going ground, because you can send flammable things through the air. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> so, uh, in Becky's channel, if you don't follow her on YouTube, is the Dorky Thrifter. So definitely go check her out. She does a lot of smalls. I know I give her a shout out every time. If you if you haven't seen them or are not following her yet, go do it because she definitely has to pick up smalls because they are in an RV. So she does a lot with glasses and perfumes and jewelry and things like that. Cool. Alrighty, so next up, these are from our the jewelry group. So jewelry lovers and sellers, shout out, Woo come join us. <laughs> and in the group, let me switch this over. Okay, before I switch over, let me go see 
how many people gave us the thumbs up now. Yay, 42. And nobody gave a thumbs down. Thanks, guys. <laughs> it doesn't bother me, honestly, but it, it's funny. Okay, next. We have these. Now, I had a, I, not a question question, but Peyton shared this. Peyton shared antique coral beaded jewelry, not color treated or modern, is mistaken for glass quite a bit and can be found priced as costume. It comes in various shades and has lines similar to ivory under a loop. Large beads are hard to find in, and can be can really increase their value. She said, "I purchased these for ten dollars, and they sold for wait for it three thousand five hundred twenty-eight dollars." So I was going to zoom in because I can see a little bit, especially on these bigger ones, the banding um let's see if i can zoom in, in a little bit you see how there you see the banding a little bit and if she had her loop you can kind of see i did a video about ivory where you can see the they're called striker lines we won't get too much into it but but there are there are factors in looking at coral so i pulled up a site um it's called medium.com how to identify red coral there's other tests there's like this one's milk the color the red color will be pulled out, you know, magnification, you can really see it. There's a vinegar test too. I don't know how safe it is. I have to do a little more research because I've never actually done it. So yeah, right? <clears throat> Definitely worth a look at coral jewelry. So I thought let's pull it up. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if in the future, whether or not it's in our lifetime or in our children's, you know, um, that they end up putting a ban on coral jewelry. Just, I mean, I, I'm just guessing, but because there's so many, so much damage being done to the coral reefs and stuff like that. So I don't know if that'll be something that happens in the future. Or maybe I'm just talking out of the backside of my head. I don't know. So these are, this is a sold um, listings on eBay. So pink coral beaded necklace and if i gave bad information about coral and you've got something else to say leave a comment because we're happy to learn from each other um so here's some more that sold for best offer but it was originally 133 some are higher than others this one's interesting very interesting ring so i i'm not seeing those some of those bigger prices i mean i've seen coral this seems like it's kind of maybe my search is choosing things that are coral colored as well my fault my fault um i could have done a better job searching so apologies okay but keep an eye out for coral and that might be something that we talk more about in jewelry lovers um identifying coral already a ban on a ban on black coral okay good patty that's good to know that's what i was thinking i was like i'm surprised that coral hasn't been restricted you know what i mean um all right so yeah and then again this is my fault because i didn't do a better job searching for like real coral oh my gosh darlene thank you so much for the super chat um she says thank you margaret for all the information and and help you give us and i've got to say that it that i appreciate the super chat it definitely it helps the the channel and helps my family so i appreciate it um so next we have got this one. Let me make sure I didn't miss any info. Um, Kara in, oh, was asking about the, this was back here, back on this one. Where'd it go? Um, so in the group, you know, like I said, people talk back and forth. Um, Kara says, how did you authenticate that they were indeed real? Is it signed? She says, it's pretty easy to tell when it's under a loop. Peyton said, uh, it's very different than glass. Once you see a few pieces, you get an eye for it. And then, but then there are ways, you know, to authenticate coral, so. That might be something that we do next in the group. It is getting close to summertime. What do you think? Let me know in the chat because I don't have a I don't have a theme picked out for next month. We've kind of been working with cameos and we just opened the group up this month, so it's not paid anymore if you're interested in jewelry lovers. Um, but we don't have a theme like picked out for next month. It's April. We're getting closer to summertime. Should we start looking at coral and like ocean things? ocean themed shell and things like that for or should we wait till it's closer to no 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 let's do it now okay next month well tell me if you want to or not but we're doing it next month in jewelry lovers oh gosh that's like sun monday i better get busy 
let's talk about shell and coral. How about that? That'll be fun. Take note, admins, here we go. <laughs> okay, so next up, uh, Ruthie shared this. Thanks, Ruthie. Um, she says, I bought this necklace in a charity shop for £3.99 and took a best offer of £55. Old Florence is an Italian designer and their jewelry sells for a high price. You can bet I will be on the lookout for Old Florence pieces in the future. So, hang on. Okay, so I did a search, and I think maybe I need to do a search for in, in eBay UK because I did my search in eBay US, and I found a few. So it might be something that's more prominent in the UK and in Europe. Um, so these are the ones we found, or I found here. So Old Florence 925 um, hinged bangle, which I love. I love hinged bangles, silver, gold, um, 56. So there were a few, and then let's see if I opened that up. I did, okay. So here are some that were still up for sale. A nice cuff bracelet, 275. Um, here's another one that's like geometric um, cuff bracelet. I need to, let me go back over here and see if I search in eBay UK. If it's something, Old Florence. I'm going to come back up here because this is eBay UK. Old Florence jewel, jewelry. I should probably stick two L's on there because it is the UK. Boop. And this spells it different than we do. So zero listings. Okay, so it might really be something to to bolo. Wait, here we go. All right. So here's some different ones. 34, 27. Yeah, okay. I think it's more prominent over there than it is over here. But it's definitely something to keep a lookout for. Oh, very cool. I used to buy it in Mexico. Okay, good. Are you guys still there? Or are you just absorbing? I know some people like just start list they're doing their work while I'm talking. But then you don't chat and I'm like, what happened? Where did you go? Okay, next up. <laughs> Let's see, make sure I didn't miss anything there. All right. You may or may not have seen these before. I'm pretty sure you have. These are like the vintage or the plastic clippy barrettes from when we were kids, right? Or when I was a kid. So these, I, you know, you'll see them every now and then, but maybe just grab a sandwich bag start throwing them in that sandwich bag and save them up because um, Dora in the chat and the jewelry lovers shared vintage plastic children's barrettes got these in a jar at the bins for less than a dollar sold in two days for full price plus shipping 87 <laughs> just working that's cool that's what I figured um, 87 um, vintage barrettes my brain just like that so let's take a peek. I did a search for vintage plastic barrettes. Oh, good, good. Listing, listing, listing. Good job. Yay. Woo. So these are buy it now in solds. So I'm just looking at some of these. Okay, $5.99 for 12 of them. Not too bad because so you might find them in a, the bottom of a jewelry jar or something. Just throw them in a sandwich bag. Here's a new in box because that's how they came, right? $26.99. Awesome. That's so cool. Here's some more $6.99 with the little, oh, they have the little animals. Oh, it brings it back, right? $4.99 for some of these. Some are like so-so, you know, prices. But others, if they're still on the card, they seem to do well. Here's 75 of them for $11. Um, $7.99 for little cats and turtles and things. Gosh, oh my gosh, this brings it back, you guys. Because you get all the little cutesy animals and the little, oh, okay. So here's some more. Here's eight. These ones are still on the card. So eight ninety five. They're still on the card. Here's her listing. Yay! So yeah, be on the lookout. Why not just throw them in a little baggie if you come across them and save them up. Fourteen ninety nine. Here's some more. Hello, hello in the chat. Thanks for joining us. Ah, oh, I remember those ones too. Gosh, that like almost hurts my stomach. It's like so nostalgic. <laughs> Ah, just like it reminds me of the, like the little sherbet push pops that we would get from the when, we, when the ice cream man would come come through, you know, and everybody had their favorite like what they you got from the ice cream man when the ice cream truck came. I always got the like orange sherbet push pop thing. That was my favorite. I know they still make them, but it's not the same. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> man, I, I'm missing some tabs, or else oh no, there they are. Okay. Let me close out some of these other tabs because my tabs are 
are not behaving because I have too many open. Closing, closing, closing. Uh, let's see. Kaylee says, I sold adult coloring books. I, um, 21 a piece. Oh, wow. A lady bought all four of them for 84 bucks. There are people that are really into that adult coloring stuff. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Maury says, I remember the big round plastic ball hair last, right? And there was like, they were like infinity and had the big, yes. Oh, don't make me say that. Okay. <laughs> Cut myself. You didn't get me this time. All right. Um, hang on. I'm getting there. I'm closing out some of these tabs. Ta -da! There we go. Okay. They, yeah, things seem to taste better when we were kids, right? Yes, that was my favorite. So now, and the other one I liked was the Bigfoot. Do you remember the, it was like Bigfoot or like Tweety Bird? And it was like, the, and then the, the eyes was a like gumball or the big toe was the gumball, right? Do you remember that one? Okay. I need the ice cream man to come around. Strawberry shortcake ice cream. Yes. Oh my gosh. I can taste it now. And you know, okay, never mind. We're getting so off topic. <laughs> okay. So this one, even though I know it's not jewelry, one of our friends in uh, Deborah in Jewelry Lover shared this. She says, well known college gear, Notre Dame Shamrock series. Um, big sizes too, is what she said. So this one, Deborah, who is Swag Maven, you guys may or may not know. She's, she didn't say what she bought this one for, but uh -oh, I switched them around. So it sold for $18.36. So I did a search for, you'll have the Bigfoot. Okay, good. <laughs> so Bigfoot, Notre Dame, that was an Under Armour one, but I thought, let me just do a search. I'm scrolling back up. Notre Dame Shamrock series. So you could take a look at that. So I'm seeing $24.99. I don't look a whole lot at clothes, but this would be something to keep an eye out for. Um, these were Buy It Now. Yeah, Shamrock Series game jersey. Shamrock Series hat, <laughs> beanie hat. And yeah, here's a little helmet, $49.99. I don't know, is it just, is it the Shamrock Series stuff or is it... Just people loving it in Notre Dame. Okay. Okay, so next, yeah. Oh, and um, Deborah is Swag Maven. So go over there and subscribe to Swag Maven on YouTube. She makes videos about jewelry and things over there. So let's click on her videos like so. So lots of jewelry videos. If you can't get enough, then definitely go check her out. Okay, so next up, ooh, this may be our last one. Yep, this is it. This is it. Hope it's a good one, and it is. So this one was shared by Sarah Colburn. Um, she says, vintage Gorma, or maybe Gorma, Lane cast bronze Viking ship necklace um, sold. And so this one, let's see, did she say what it sold for? Da, da, da. Oh yeah, um, rare ship necklace sold for $69 in a couple days. It's worth more than that, I am sure. Yeah, it sold in a couple days probably. So, I looked up, and I apologize if I'm saying this name wrong, Jorma Lane, or Horma Lane. Um, and these are sold listings. And this, this is a pin, $26. Here's another one for $50, $57. So it's got that modernist look, Scandinavian. Look at this one, one thirty-two fifty. This was that was on auction. Okay, so I was like, okay, well, how do I know that it's this brand? So let's find the mark on it. For what, baby? Play together time. Okay. Go ahead. Not yet. Okay, sorry. All right, so this is one piece. This is what it looks like originally, like so. Um. This is on an Etsy shop. And then the mark on here, I'm zooming it in. So made in Finland. The mark's a little different on different ones. So basically, if you see something with this many marks on it, you know, take a second look at it. But so made in Finland, this, take note, I don't know if you can see my arrow. The very first mark over here that looks like the profile of a very funky bird that's going, because I don't know what that is. 
but that's a mark that I see on her stuff or his stuff. And I'm sure it's not a funky bird, but I can't make out what it is. So I'm just going like that. And we'll call it that. <laughs> so this one is up for 270 bucks. Here's another one that, you know, it's got all these marks down here. There on that very first one, there's that bird. It's got, got a tongue on that one. I don't know what it is. And if you know, don't spoil my fun. Pardon me one second. One minute. Okay, so again, if you see something that has all of these marks like this, take a second look at it. Um, there's another one. Here's one where the mark is on this tag right here, and there's that little like profile of the bird with the tongue. Quack. Um, right there stamped in. You know what? Now that I look at it, maybe it's like a bird flying. That would like be like, like there's the head, and it's like in profile flying the other direction. It's not a mouth. But hey, whatever helps you remember. But then this one doesn't have that. It's got this signature right here. So, yeah, anyway. Okay. Uh, yeah, 830 is a silver mark, definitely. Uh, thanks to Crazy Card. And, oh, no, thanks, Marcus. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Retired H&S Heidi Douse Jewelry also sells good. Oh, very good. Oh, nice, 104 bucks. I sold some Joan Rivers, too, yeah. So definitely if you see stuff with marks on it, take a second look at it, even if you're not sure. And if the price is right, you know, give it a, give it a try if you're willing to take a chance on it, for sure. Okay, so those are the bolos from International League of Thrifters and Jewelry Lovers and Sellers, my two groups on Facebook. Would love to have you come join and contribute. If you get a lot of um, information and you get a lot of value from these bolos, why not come over? join and leave one as a thank you to all of the info and bowlers that you're getting here because sharing helps everybody and while you might not find it in your area somebody else might you just never know there's plenty to go around um also go down there and leave a thumbs up to let me know that you're appreciating this video and that you like videos like this so you know i should make more videos like this and it really does help in the youtube thing to see <laughs> activity and things like that so that is really why people ask for the thumbs ups and the, the subscribes and stuff all right so if you're watching this later i'd love to have you come over and watch live and talk in the chat because we have lots of fun and yeah have a great day you guys and thanks for coming to hang out and i will see you tomorrow <laughs> yeah okay i always do this now i can't find the buy the buy button the buy button all right bye guys see you later <laughs>